I'm really excited about our multi-year partnership with the Natural History Museum. It's a true collaboration between technology and nature. Our aspiration as the event hosts at the Natural History Museum is to have a night of curiosity and learning as we explore different perspectives of what this advancement will enable for individuals, for businesses and policy to come together and pave a new path forward in how we monitor and improve biodiversity in the UK and beyond. By building the data ecosystem using AWS for the first time, the Natural History Museum will have stable, scalable and secure architecture for its UK biodiversity science, citizen and community programs. Digitizing the science of natural history today for the future of biodiversity also allows us to go further and faster and unlock new solutions in the fight to combat climate change. And you can't impact what you can't measure. Through harnessing the power of technology, the National History Museum can make the invisible visible and truly revolutionize its scientific work. The key to any successful partnership, the most rewarding and impactful partnerships, is finding a partnership where you have shared values, shared ambitions and goals. In this case, it's to make a strong positive difference for people on the planet. And I think from the very outset, when we first met the AWS team and started talking through our plans for the Urban Nature Project, the need for data ecosystem, it came across really clearly that the team really understood what we were trying to achieve, the kind of societal and nature impacts we could achieve through that. But at the same time, they really weren't shy right from the outset of suggesting the technological solutions we might be looking for, the skills and the infrastructure. This partnership between AWS and the Natural History Museum is super exciting because it opens a whole new world in terms of understanding biodiversity and how to better protect it. When you think about climate change and climate data, often you know we already have the information to look back on to understand the trajectory and to understand the modeling of how we can stay within 1.5 degrees. Whereas with biodiversity, once it's gone, it's gone, unless you have a database. And this is what it's all about, right? Bringing the science of natural history into the future today so that we can better protect it for future generations. The sponsorship and the support from AWS is really going to transform our UK biodiversity science and the way that we can engage different audiences within that scientific process. So AWS is sponsoring the Urban Nature Project as a whole, so helping us to build a new learning and activity centre in our gardens and supporting some of our national programmes that are really focused on education and building those skills to monitor and protect the environment here in the UK. But one of the bigger pieces of work is around the data ecosystem. So within the museum, we've always had individual solutions for different science projects, particularly around the UK's natural world. We haven't had this fixed hub where we can really pull together all of our biodiversity data from widely different sources. So acoustic biology data, environmental data, observations of wildlife and environmental DNA. So really big data sets that we can now house in one location, analyze and share with others and use this to really inform our practices when it comes to nature conservation. So how can we test and refine our methods for restoring habitats for wildlife? Well, the data to support that will be in this data ecosystem. So we're really excited that we're, we're gathering data now from across the UK, actually, and cities across the UK. And before long, that will be the first data set to go into the ecosystem itself.